neighbor are coming through. It's Kenny. Hold the dog. <laughs> of Kenrick <laughs> Joseph, a.k.a. Kenny J. And starting it off there with Abby Blackburn. Good morning to you, yeah, Abby. Good morning, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes, yes. And you started off with Addicted to Soka. That's yes. one, of, one of Kenny's older ones. Yes. A big tune, too. Yes, yes. So tell me, tell me about your relationship with Kenny J. Um, we, when Kenny has been one who used to, used to go wrong and uh, gather artists to perform in, like, restaurants and... And and um, what do they call this place? Gambling casinos, casinos and so on. Casinos and stuff, yeah. right? And we booked me for one of the casino gigs, mm -hmm. and we kind of hit it off. And this is long time I'm talking about. Yeah. That maybe twenty years ago. Right, right, right. <laughs> we kind of hit it off, and he, you know, ever so often he'd contact me at Christmas time. We do whatever and thing, and then we start to become friends and go by his home and we lime and what things like that, and. Um, he said, Abby, I want to form a group, uh, you know, to, to do um thing. And this is where I'm a dicey riding partner there. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about impulse. We will get to you just now, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Modest. We will get to you just now. Yeah, <laughs> right? Dicey riding partner there. And so he get together with impulse and myself. And he said, let me form a group. And um, because, you know, like real well, thing going on in Tuko and I don't like it. So mm -hmm. let me do something. So we come together and we call ourselves the Calypso Troopers. And that is how, even, well, Luther is the president. Mm -hmm. and we're we here from Luther too. I learn everything on the bag. <laughs> well, we actually, we actually have Luther on Zoom, so maybe we can bring him into the yes, conversation right. at this point. Luther, good morning to you, sir. Good morning to all. And happy yeah, new year. Yeah, morning. Same to you, man. All right, and so let me, let me hear about this, this Troopers, the Calypso Troopers now. Well, we are a movement of um, 
you know, some righteous people. <laughs> I'm a man of people who have the concerns of the art and the artists at heart. And this is our motivation. We um, care really nothing about, about anything else but that, about moving the art and the artists forward. That is our focus. Yeah. Our main focus is just about that. No personal benefits at all. And it's one of the few groups I know like that, where we have no interest in, right. in, 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 in moving ourselves, but moving the art and the art form forward. And tell me about tell me about and the role that Kenny that. tell me about the role that Kenny J played in this group. Well, he was very instrumental in that. Um, he was like the the, the, the mover, the, the whole mover behind behind the thing. Um, I don't think you could have gotten anywhere uh, without without his um, involvement in 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 thing. He was very very instrumental in the whole move uh, of doing this thing. And it's a little group that I, that I like a lot because it, it's, we, we could disagree. Um, we're very cordial with what we do. We're very frank. Um, nobody feel intimidated to oppose or to have a, a descending view. And it's very, very, very nice. One of the best groups that I've ever been involved with. Nice. Luther, if you had to and say, to say one, one fun memory you have of, of Kenny J, what would it be? The fun. He's always <laughs> a man of um, humor. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he have a humorous line all the time, all the time. So in the midst of something um, that, you know, and sometimes these lines come at a time when they really need it, eh? <laughs> when they really need the break. Yeah. Yeah. So that is, uh, will be outstanding to me. Yeah. With him. All he right, always thanks. have a nice humorous line. Well, speaking of humor, we have, we have Impulse here with us in studio as well. And you're known for, for lots of the humorous calypsos and, 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 and soca and that kind of thing. Um, tell me about your relationship with Kenny J. Well, if I had to tell you that, I'd write a Bible. Eh? But <laughs> 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 well, um, years ago, about 20-something years ago, we used to travel together. The three of us used to land together. Kenny G, um, Del, um, sorry, Kenny G, mm -hmm. and myself. Right. And we used to hunt to try to do all the challenge and stuff to get him to do tent and stuff. You know, like the um, and we stayed together since that. All right, just now. So apparently we, your mic is having some, some challenges, so they're not hearing you through the... Um, all right, so we, we're going we're gonna to see if we can sort it out and, and come back to you. So we'll, we'll sort it out and, and come back. But um, Abby, as, <laughs> as you're here with us as well, um, tell me about a, a fond memory that you have of Kenny. Well, uh, as, as, as Luther said, he really hated jokes and things, you know. Um, <clears throat> he, 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 I had oh. a birthday party. We had a birthday party. All right. We, see, we seem to not be getting your microphone as, as well. I don't know what's uh, going okay. on. Okay. So, Luther, you're, you're here with us? <laughs> yes, I am. All right. Nice. So... <laughs> Um, when it comes to the music of, of Kenny J, can you tell me a little bit about, about um, the relationship between you and him in regards to the music? Was there any? N not really, but I admire the work that he did. Yeah. You know, the voice had a beautiful voice. And I remember Kenny back in the day, even before Calypso, you know, when he would be doing these Stevie Wonder songs and you know, the, the songs of the day. That is when I got to, um, well, I was introduced to Kenny J, actually. Right? I was before Calypso, and then when he started the Calypso, well, you know, I will love him a little more <laughs> because he do my thing now. <laughs> yeah, but he was always a nice, easygoing guy, type of person that you, would, you have to love. You know, he was one of those type of persons. Yeah. And All right. Well, Abby, let me see. I think we, we should have your mic back up now, Abby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We get yeah. an Abby clearly. Right. All right. So, Abby, let me let me get your fun memory. Um. Yes. Well. So we we threw a birthday party for him, and I say, well. Um. I wonder where is it for him. I said, um. Well, as we celebrate, um, Kenny's fifty-seven birthday. He say fifty-seven. 
No, Abby. Uh, thanks for the um, you did it ten years. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the ten years, man. Sixty six now. I say, oh, okay. <laughs> and that's just because he was so funny. You keep, yeah. him, you keep him young. Yeah, I guess yeah, the, the yeah, fun yeah, keep him yeah, keep yeah. him a bit young. Um, I think we we could check your mic and see if it's back up now. It's still one two. Uh, they will they will let me know. Yes, it's, it's back one? up. All right. So impulse, he was telling me. Uh -huh. You are Baby Lily and I am um, yeah, Baby Lily. A Baby Lily and Kenny and G. myself. Right. Yeah, we have we used to struggle together just uh, just a year. Um, we used to you know we have audition to get into the tent. Right. So we used to be hunting tent after tent to get in you know, to do our audition. I remember I was I am um, I could remember auditioning Marco here and Marco she five years on our street. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, to get in tent and never gain and then. Can and that song is a big song? No, but it get big after. Right. It get big, big after when this guy came from um, um, Grenada, a, cal a guy called Super P, and say, everybody peeping. Peepin. I bring back Marco. We go, we do peepee -pee Marco. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so that's how it come back and get big. But uh, beside that, um, okay, uh, uh, well, I want to say this first. Eh? I remember um, I was in Toko. Um, that's the day when Kenny died, and the message come to me. Mm -hmm. And when that message come to me, I didn't believe it at first because I say I tell the person, I say if Kenny die, my phone will ring off the hook. Right. And as the person hang up, my yeah. phone will start to ring off the off hook. Off the hook. So then I went to do an estimate up there, and I couldn't have do it. Mm -hmm. I had to come home because it is like my father died, yeah, and, yeah. or my brother, or my sister, you know, or my mother. And um, I started to cry one time immediately, if not before, and um, because it it. it Hit me so hard mm. is that uh, uh, like I couldn't catch my breath. Yeah, you know. Um, and this is one. And, and my friend told me that she say you, it will ride you for a little while. You know. Oh well. Yeah. So well, uh, let me extend personal condolences to you and, and, and to all of you guys yes, uh, because correct. of course losing losing anybody and losing a close friend, mm -hmm. a family member is, yes. is going to hurt for some time. Yes. But yes. I understand that you also did, did a song that you, you wrote for Kenny. Yes. And and he was he, he, he I think he practically learned it already. W what had happened is that um. I, I didn't write the song exactly for him, but when I write the song, I tell myself, I talk to uh, um, Chris Morris and I said, who I could get, the, uh, who the song resembling? Yeah. And he said, Kenny, I said, no, I think it's the same thing. Well, let me find out, <laughs> let me find out. This morning we have this song, it's called yeah. Smile. Smile, it's a demo, yes. All right, it's yes. a demo. So let me take yes. it in. Impulse is here with us. Impulse, give us a little taste of the smile before we go to A mile away break. when you smile. Brightening up your day when you smile. You freeing up yourself when you smile. Don't study nothing else, just free up. Come on, everybody, and free up. Don't take on nothing, just free up. Good things will happen when you free up. Oh, free up. Nice time to free up. Oh, lad, oh, lad, free up. Just free up. Hey, hey, hey. You're always sleepy and tired. Check yourself properly You know you didn't juggle too hard You're just sick mentally Using too many muscle From then all the while When you only need one muscle Only one muscle to smile free and That's the way to be free The secret to be healthy free Set your mind at ease, free. Just do good once you please. Don't mind the pressure. Just keep on smiling. Yeah, man. That is the answer. Just keep on smiling. Go hug your neighbor. I hear, I hear, correct, I hear, correct, I hear, I hear what you're saying, I hear what you're saying. I want to thank you guys for joining us this morning and celebrating yes. the life of, of Mr. Joseph this morning. Kenny Positive. J, Impulse, thank you so much for joining us. Condolences yeah. again to all correct. of you. Abby Blackburn, thank you so much for joining thank us. And you. Luther, may, 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 I say, may I say one thing beside, before you move? Let me just thank Luther before yeah, you, before you yes. say a thing. Luther, mm. I want to thank you very much for joining us via Zoom this morning and sharing with us. Hey, you're most welcome, and I want to congratulate Impulse on that piece, man. That's a beautiful piece of work. Nice, man. <laughs> Impulse. <laughs> Yes, um, I want to say one of my um, uh, uh, memorial time at where Kenny is concerned, yeah. one of that fun time. Most of the time it happened, especially with Del Toro is concerned, and Chinese is the next one too. Yeah. Um, he will, um, a day call me and say, Impulse. I, I say, oh, yeah, at night. I now finish doing a show in tongue, heading. So he say, Impulse, where is a show in tongue? Mm -hmm. He say, well, you're in a good place. He say, I'm doing a show now. I wouldn't be able to make it in time, so go up so. And tell them you come to start my show. <laughs> <laughs>
That is performance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate the life of Kenny J in the Now Morning Show. We take a quick break and we come back with more celebrations. So stay tuned. Something they will never find. That energy you creating will vibrate around you. So that gate need breaking and smile all the way through. Free. Do something nice, huh? Let's turn you ready. Let me go. Twenty-five cents and fifty cents, but no sense. The government does not making sense. Bring the bread. Hey, come on. It costs too much to make the one cent. Oi, oi. That's the sentiment of the TNT government. Oi, oi. Too much, too much. Gone. Gone from five cents up, one ninety nine, nine ninety nine. All of them things stop. Nobody can hold back the one cent again. Especially them Chinese, they have too much brain. Five cents, ten cents, twenty five cents, and fifty cents, but no sense. The government they stop making sense. They make it five cents, ten cents, twenty five cents, and fifty cents, but no sense. The government they stop making sense. Hey. 99 cents, cause I can't find them Searching all over town East, West, North and South now All of them close down, down, down 5 cents, 10 cents, 25 cents and 50 cents But no cents, the government they stop making sense <laughs> Jump the bus! Ladies hey. and gentlemen, we have the Soro in Good morning, good morning, good morning Wow! Good morning. We are definitely paying tribute to Kenny J this That's morning right. because That's in right. case you didn't know, Kenny J is the writer on this one and co-producer right. as well. Co-producer as well. And his song say, it say 5 cents, 10 cents, 25 cents, and but the government cents. stopped making sense. Yeah, there's no more one cent. No more one cent. Right. No Makes perfect sense. Right. The one ah. cent we talking about, right? One cent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that's all. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Ah. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about your relationship with Kenny J. Uh, you get him to write this song for you, boy? Well, let me tell you something. Um... This was done in 2019, but the relationship started long before that. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably as close as 2008, 2009, when I started uh, in the soccer prank industry. Kenny, where we from? I'm from San Fernando. Kenny lives in Separia. Mm -hmm. We have a common spot that, that's a bar called Tucker's Bar in Larine, where we meet. A common watering a hole. A common watering hole. Nice. Right? And, um, you know, he. So some potential in me for some particular reason. And he started to take me under his wing. And I'm, I'm, I have to mention Impulse as well because yeah. they were the two who took me under their wing, you know? And um, from that, he never stopped. His advice, his mentorship, with both of them especially, but Kenny held on to me and showed me the ropes. Kenny, yeah, Kenny held on to me and showed me the ropes and, and taught me everything. Yeah. I needed to understand about the industry. Yeah. This came afterwards because he, saw, he, he said, listen, you feel able for this? You ready with this? I say, well, 
I will not try. How was, how was the reception when you did perform? This yeah. blew the roof off of the auditions. <laughs> well, it blew the roof off the studio this morning when you performed. The <laughs> everybody, everybody started laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the production was done by Ibo. But you can understand the cleverness in the writing yeah. of, of Mr. Kenny G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Kenny G was an amazing, amazing man. All right. Yeah. We have with us in studio as well, Daddy Chinese. Good morning to you, yeah, Daddy Good morning Chinese. to you, man. Good morning to you. So tell me about your relationship with, with Kenny and the role that he played in your career. Well, well Kenny was like a, a mentor to myself and Del Toro. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kenny used to go as far as to come and pick us up. To, we carpool into shows, you know. Yeah. And he will have shows and he will give us his platform to perform because he believed in us. And he, I mean, if Kenny have a show today... He wanted to find out where we is, mm -hmm. so he could come to our show before or after. And he always there, yeah, and Impulse also. Mm -hmm. that, that, a, a team of falling, and I didn't know how I was falling in that team, but they were that troublesome team. <laughs> 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 when you meet up with men like Kenny and Impulse yeah. in a vehicle, and you move in, brace yourself. Well, I was about to say, that sounds like you will just get a good ab workout. Because the two of them sound like they, they will talk real <laughs> shipping and yeah, 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 laugh yeah, from yeah, now till whenever. You, before you see your face hot in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, me, tell me one of the lessons that you guys learned from Kenya that you will take with you to the future. Oh, definitely. Um, discipline. Discipline to the art form. Discipline mm -hmm. to the industry. Um, Kenny was always punctual. He was always prepared. Except for that time when he make Impulse Star the show for him. But go yeah, ahead. No, no. That, that, that's because... <laughs> No, most of the times that we end up in situations like that is because the promoter, the party itself, has us kept keeps us back. Right. But once they give us a time, we were always, and he taught me that, and he taught me a lesson actually in a real way, where we was getting ready to go to a show, and I had to go get a haircut. Right. He said, oh, "You're going to get a haircut, alright, no problem." Okay. When I called Kenny, Kenny was already in Portland, and I was still no finishing getting my haircut. <laughs> so he, he said, that he said "You're going to come up here, or you?" I said, "Well, um, but where, where are you? Is I in town?" I told the guy ready for five. What about you, Daddy Chinese? He said, anything else, call Chinese. Tell me one lesson that you will take into the future with you. Can you, can you teach me a lot of things? A lot of things, uh, being a performer and, and delivering your soccer parang to people and thing and, you know, how, how you should present it, mm -hmm. you know, and deal with people. Because Kenny is a, a people person. Yeah. You know, and if it's one thing I will take from Kenny, is as he said, he was a straight up person. He was serious about everything he doing. When it come to joking, he joking. Yeah. But when it come to getting it done properly, mm -hmm. he wanted done properly. He was serious about the jokes and serious about the work. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. man. Nice. Well, this morning we want to say rest in peace to, to Kenrick, Joseph, Kenny J. Um, thank you for everything that you've given to the art form, that you've given to the generations to come after you, that you've shared with your generation as well. This morning, we're going to close off. Daddy Chinese is going to give us a track to close yes. off with. And this one was written, was produced by Produced him, by Kenny. We did it together, everything together. Um, big up to Marcel Jackson. Came and did it together. Throw you, my rock man. Nice. You know? Nice. And he, he loved this song from the would go. He loved this song. And I just started like saying... I'm a power on Daryl. Just now, wait. Let me get the music and everything. We <laughs> no, no, do no, it we properly. Music yet. We can do it properly. Just now. <laughs> I want to remind everybody to make a difference today now because together we aspire together. We achieve on behalf of Natalie Lagoa. I anchor Will. My name is Rockers. Do enjoy the rest of your day. On the No Morning Show, we close off with Daddy Chinese. You ready now? I'm a power on Daryl. I sing soca and chutney also. A soca prank from Sweet Chin Bagel. A soca prank that send me loco. Yeah, I'm a parang deru. I sing soca and chutney also. Took a prank on streets and bagel. Took a prank that sent me loco. I'm a parang deru. I sing soca and chutney also. Took a prank from streets and bagel. Took a prank that sent me loco. I was born in Tobago, lived in Maturato, go. Sandy Grandy Tabakit, that's why I sing Parang Sweet. St. Jill Coco, it was home, all over the place I roam. Sing it, chat me and soca, but I'm a Parang. Christmas time is our time for sharing. Spreading joy, showing love and caring. That's why every year I will come singing my Parang song. Sereno, 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 Sereno. Sereno, 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 
Sereno, Sereno, Sereno Sera. I'm a parangdero. I sing suka and chat me yozu. Suka parang from the streets in Begu. Suka parang let's send me loco. I'm a parangdero. I sing suka and chat me yozu. I suka parang from the streets in Begu. I suka parang let's send me loco. My first parang suka. What we call los hands crunch up. The first song on stage I hit, Uncle Lafay made me do it. Party pushed me further as an entertainer. Master gave me chutney. That part of my story. This is time, it's our time for sharing. Spreading joy, showing love and caring. That's why every year I will come singing my.